shallow water equations. This example models a moving wave in a pool of shallow water. Although these types of fluid flows are really governed by the full three-dimensional Navier-Stokes equations, they can be simplified with a two-dimensional approximation, the St. Venant shallow water equations, where the z-dimension is replaced with a variable for the unknown free surface height relative to a mean level. The tutorial can also be run by selecting, model examples and tutorials, classic PDE, shallow water equations, from the file menu, and followed along with the step-by-step -step instructions in the user's guide. To start a new model click the New Model Toolbar button, or select New Model from the File menu. This example uses three coupled physics modes, a custom equation mode for the surface height, and two convection and diffusion physics modes for the horizontal velocities. Select the Custom Equation Physics mode from the Select Physics drop-down menu. Enter H into the Dependent Variable Names Edit field. The other physics modes will be added later. So press OK to finish the initial physics mode selection. Geometry mode. The domain here consists of a 5 by 1 rectangle. To create it, First select Rectangle from the Geometry menu. Enter the coordinate limits so that it spans between 0 and 5 in the X direction, and 0 and 1 in the Y direction. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Grid mode. Switch to grid mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. Enter 0.2 into the grid size edit field. Press the generate button to call the grid generation algorithm. Equation mode. Switch to equation mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. Press the edit button. Enter the equation for the surface height, into the edit field for the H equation. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box.
an initial small disturbance, or height difference, is required to see any wave phenomena. Now add two convection and diffusion physics modes for the horizontal velocity components U and V. Although the custom equation physics mode could also be used here, the convection and diffusion physics modes feature predefined equations and convective stabilization which is necessary here. Switch to the tab. Select the convection and diffusion physics mode from the Select Physics drop down menu. Enter U into the dependent variable names edit field. Press the Add Physics button. Enter 0 into the Diffusion Coefficient Edit field. Enter U into the Convection Velocity in X Direction Edit field. Enter V into the convection velocity in Y direction edit field. Enter the X component of the source term for gravitational effects, minus G times HX, into the edit field for the reaction rate. Press the Artificial Stabilization button. Select the check to enable shock capturing checkbox. Select High Order from the Shock Capturing Discretization Order drop-down menu. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Switch to the tab. Select the Convection and Diffusion Physics mode from the Select Physics drop-down menu. Enter V into the Dependent Variable Names Edit field. Press the Add Physics button. Enter 0 into the Diffusion Coefficient Edit field. Enter U into the Convection Velocity in X Direction Edit field. Enter V into the Convection Velocity in Y Direction Edit field.
n to the y component of the source term for gravitational effects, minus g times hy, into the edit field for the reaction rate. Press the artificial stabilization button. Select the check to enable shock capturing checkbox. Select high order from the shock capturing discretization order drop down menu. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Press OK to finish the equation and subdomain settings specification. Two constants also have to be defined. One for the mean fluid level H1, and one for the gravitational constant G9.8. Boundary mode. Switch to boundary mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. The dependent variable for the height, h, should not be constrained and should therefore be prescribed with homogeneous Newman conditions everywhere. Select all boundaries in the boundaries list box. Select the Newman, GH radio button. The right boundary is assumed to be a wall, and zero velocities are therefore prescribed there. The top and bottom boundaries are assumed to be symmetric, and feature zero flow in the normal direction. Switch to the CD tab. Select 4 in the boundaries list box. Select concentration from the convection and diffusion drop down menu. Switch to the CD2 tab. Select 1, 3, and 4 in the boundaries list box. Select concentration from the convection and diffusion 2 drop down menu. Press OK to finish the boundary condition specification. Solve mode.
switch to solve mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. Press the settings toolbar button. Select the time dependent solver with the following parameters. Enter 0.001 into the non-linear stopping criteria for solution differences changes between iterations edit field. Enter 0.01 into the time step size edit field. Enter 1.5 into the duration of time dependent simulation maximum time edit field. Press the solve button. Post-processing mode. Once the solver has finished, turn on the height plot for H, and visualize the free surface for different times. Press the plot options toolbar button. Select the Enable Disable Height Plot checkbox. Press OK to plot and visualize the selected post processing options. One can also use the Animate Playback Solution option in the Post menu, to create an animation or video of the solution. The tutorial is now complete, and the model can be saved as a binary file, exported as a MATLABM script file, or a GUI playback file.